FKATD. So I had a customer of mine here named Tim, and I suggested we do a dyno pre-inspection, which, which is a boost leak check, some fluid level check, and check some spark plugs. Well, I found a boost leak. And after some testing, I realized it was coming from the intake manifold on cylinder number two. Now, this is on a car that the intake manifold is supposed to have never been off the car before. Well, this car has not been overheated, over, but for some reason, we have very significant warping here. Now, maybe the manifold was off and it was improperly torqued, which is very possible. I have seen that before where people just hammer them down and they don't torque them to spec correctly and it warps the crap out of the manifold or they torque the outside first or go in any whatsoever order. I'm going to take this 11 thousandths feeler gauge and this 11 thousandths feeler gauge fits right underneath here. This is where the boost leak was. It fits right here. This machinist straight edge is accurate within 0 0.001 over the entire length of the machinist straight edge. So that means at the very worst, this is at least still a 10, 10 thousandths warpage across this. Now, Maybe new O-rings could have sealed it, but when compared to a new manifold, which is, has less than an eighth of that much of a variance, I guess plastic is decent but not perfect, compared to a new manifold, the, I mean, the only answer was to put a new manifold on the car. But just to make sure you guys understand, torque your intake manifolds with a proper torque wrench. Don't just go gung ho in it by hand. I think that for some reason, maybe at the dealer at some point, they had the intake manifold off and that's how this occurred. It's extremely rare for this to happen in a fashion where in such a short time, in such a low mileage, this car is like 50,000 miles. It's either a 2020 or a 2021 for something like this to happen in that kind of mileage. Now, and for those of you who may think it was a boost level thing, let me just clarify one thing. I have put 41 pounds of boost through a plastic manifold with these O-rings and I have not had a problem. So it was not a boost pressure thing. So this was either an install or a freak warpage thing over time. So this is why spending a few bucks before a dyno session to get a look over on the car is worth every penny. FKATD, signing out.